Okay, this is an important life lesson in human stupidity. This is how stupid humans are, and you should learn from this lesson. Two very quick, short, and true stories. I used to hit uh, government auctions all the time, some of which are university auctions. Um, one government auction uh, was an electron microscope for sale. And obviously the higher bidder gets it. It was an electron microscope, a really old one. And it was about the size of two Volkswagen cars. Now, anytime you buy stuff at these government auctions, you get a week to haul it away. Nobody wanted to buy this piece of shit because it was the size of two Volkswagen cars. Um, there was a couple bidders, and uh, one guy won it, I think for $600. I mean, originally it was insanely valuable, but it was an obsolete electron microscope. Everybody started laughing at him until he told everybody. He said, you see that part down there? that uh, bowl-shaped, gigantic copper object. He said, I've already sold that for $30,000. So whatever you don't take away at a government auction, they throw it in the trash. So after he paid for his electron microscope, he removed the uh, object. I don't know what the object was in the electron microscope. And then he was on his way. There's one of life's lessons for you. You see, everybody else was laughing, but he knew something everybody else didn't. He thought, well, you know, this object is, you know, how the hell are you going to get it out of here? It's a young punk. But he knew something that everybody else didn't. You should always seek the tangent of anything that anybody else thinks is obvious. There's always an angle on everything. I don't mean working an angle like, uh, you know, I'm going to work an angle on somebody. A rich buddy of mine, very rich, was talked out of buying a piece of land by his crusty old father. Talked out of it. It was a pretty cheap piece of land. Um, he regrets it to this day. Uh, the person that bought the land from him at that price, he sold off most of the lumber on that land, so some people came in and they hauled the trees away. And the guy still had the land for free. The lumber, he got more money from the lumber off of the land than he paid for the fucking land. So he paid for the land, he sold the lumber, got 120% of his money back, and he still had the damn land at the end. This is how people think. And the point is that people don't think. And this is a factor of human stupidity. We only see what's in front of us. You know, we can never work an angle. And it's exactly the same way chess works. You have to think not only several steps ahead, but you have to think in a non-linear fashion. People don't think in non-linear fashions in a non-linear fashion and that's incredibly important and that's actually a huge key to success is being able to think non-linear curve linear technically you think in a curve linear fashion a back door a side entrance people only see the front of something they can never see the back or you know the angles it's like that thing's huge i don't want to buy it yeah but who gives a shit i only want that part down there so he bought it for 600 he took a part off of it for $30,000, and as far as the rest of it, they could throw that shit in the garbage. That is called thinking, and nobody does that anymore. Bye.